right. Now what we're going to do is how to import the reaction time data into uh, SPSS. Very simple, but again, you'll need to know how to do this for the final project. So we are at reaction time paradigm. We actually have the reaction time program, and here it is. So I'm going to pretend that I did it. Click, 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 click. Yeah, it's a pain slope. Great. So then we get to our results page. Our results page, we have, you put your name in. O-R-G. The monkey. We have George the monkey as my name. He's very fast. 5, 10, 15, and 100. He couldn't read very well. So now, refer back to the form and hit results page. So now, here is our data from last from this year, and there's George the monkey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my data, okay, copy it, and I'm going to go down and open up Microsoft Excel. Click. Here's Microsoft Excel. The reason we like to use Excel to manipulate data is it's a much more robust program. A robust program means that it's not going to crash when you're trying to manipulate data. SPSS will crash. So we hit paste. And so now here's the data in its happiness. So there's a few things that we have to do. For example, George Monkey is not a real subject. So I'm going to get rid of George the Monkey. Bye, George. Um, L337Gamer is one of my students, being Brian, being silly. And so thank you, Brian. Delete. OK. Um, and then last, George the monkey also is not a real person, so he's also delete. So now, this matches up with the within subjects column except for the name. Bye, be bye, bye, people. <clears throat> now, here we go. This looks a lot like my reaction time data. Now I've got 42 extra subjects added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, just highlight them all, and hit copy. If you want to go to edit copy as well, that works well, or control C, whatever you want. And now I'm going to click over to my SPSS document. Here's my raw SPSS document, lab 7. It's going to go right to the bottom. And when I get to the bottom where the last subject is, I'm going to click paste. And then it just lines up the columns. If the columns are lined up in Excel, they will line up nicely in SPSS. Very cool. Anyway, um, so then make sure you hit save. And now you can do your transform, and you can compute your thinking time. Well, there's my negate. Well, let's do that one first. Well, let's just reset here and just do the thinking time just to keep things consistent. There's your thinking time. Your thinking time is TA minus A. OK. Ta-da. And it works. If this doesn't work, you screwed up. And go back and check. Try to figure it out. Um, and you can do the other. The other current form variables is really easy. Reading is fundamental. No. Um, RTA minus TA. OK. Transform compute and then negate. Equals R and TA minus RTA. OK. Clink. And now save it because SPSS will crash unless you save it frequently. Okay, and that's it. And then you're ready to go on and do the rest of the lab. For the second data set import, it's also it's pretty easy. Okay, so we'll close that. And here's my data still. Oops, what happened? Well, something happened. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. This is the data that I want to import, but the other data format looks different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a line here. Get off. Okay. Insert a line here. I'm going to insert a line here. And I'm going to insert a line here. Now, what I need to tell the computer is, I, first of all, I need to tell the computer that this column represents the number one. Okay. This column represents number two. This column represents number three. The easiest, sleaziest way to do this is very simple. Open up the Excel spreadsheet or the um, SPSS spreadsheet. Okay, I'm going to open up, I may have to go to the web to get it. I don't think I saved it. Um, let me go quickly to the web. Click over here. Go back. La 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 la. Make sure you save stuff or SPSS will crash. 
Here's the between subjects design. So now it's really simple. We'd get rid of the SD because we're not looking at that this semester. So we just have average reaction time. And you notice that the tasks are A, TA, etc. So we just go all the way to the bottom. Okay, no, there's no subject number on there. So I'll go back to my Excel group and I'll take my RT, reaction time. I'll copy and go back to my and then hit paste. Before I do anything else, I have to make sure that we know that this is simple action. Copy that, and then it should paste. Paste. So now, there's the A. Go back to Excel. Highlight the TA. Copy that. Go back to SBSS. Paste that. Now we select 2 which is TA. Copy that. Slide down to the end and paste. Do it again. RTA. La 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 la. Okay, sorry for singing on the microphone, but it's habit. Copy. You have to enjoy doing stats. Paste. And then this is level three. You copy. And then you scroll down. Paste. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Okay. And the last one, again, repetitiveness often makes you learn math, but it also kills the kitty cat. Uh, go. Paste. <clears throat> and now we go to four. Copy. Now there are faster ways to do this, but sometimes doing things fast doesn't necessarily do things right. So hit save quick file save as and I'm gonna save it as on my computer where I save things I'm gonna save it as lab 7 and I'm gonna put another thing in here between and I put it in as between because it is between subjects design the other ones within subjects and now you can go and do your analysis of variance and everybody's happy cool